Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo, and we are back here, of course, on Destiny. If you guys didn't see the last video, I am going to be going into my theory, which I'm deeming the Artifacts Theory, which is basically going to be me going over what I think is actually inside of these artifacts based on clues that we have. Now, mind you, it is only week three, so this might not be accurate in any way, shape, or form, but it kind of does make sense based on the way that I've been thinking about it. So... The first thing that points us to where or what it could be. Hold up, I gotta get into the lore tab here. I gotta find the right one. I believe it is this one. Yeah, so in the this week's uh, lore tab, we got number three, Trust. Where Drifter basically gives Eris Morn these artifacts. And then all of a sudden, she talks about the fact that... Um of what's inside these artifacts here let me let me see if i can find it um let's see i know somewhere they i think it's ida who says it but uh, during last week, they said that these artifacts contain what seem like just chunks of meat and emanate a large darkness. Now, the big thing about that is the only thing I could see that could emanate a large darkness, unless it's something we've never seen before, like, I don't know, a big scorn that we haven't seen or like something like that. My theory is, is this is Nezarek. And the reason why I say these are Nezarek is because Nezarek is the only disciple that hasn't been seen. He's been talked about in the lore with Nezarek's Whisper and Nezarek's Sin, which you can see in, of course, the exotic armor for warlocks with, their, with the helmet uh, Nezarek Sin. Or, yeah, right here. Nezrex in the helmet, which... Is interesting that says he is, which is an end, and he shall rise again. So, the big thing also about that quote is, we'll get into that in a second. But if this is true, and Nezrex is in these artifacts, I have a weird feeling that Nezrex might get resurrected because here's the interesting thing that Aramis and the witness want these artifacts and I think the reason why they want the artifacts is because they want to basically rebirth Nezarek because he was known as Nezarek the Hated and if he's dead he's no use to the witness so why not just resurrect him so I feel like by the end of the season we're gonna see Nezarek come back at some point and be a main part of the story whether or not he's on our side is uh, a different story um another thing about this is is this could also bring about why these artifacts are so powerful because you figure nezarek is the i guess the oldest disciple we've probably heard about because you figure we got Nezarek Sin first as the helmet. And we didn't know who Nezarek was. You know, usually they talk about like different people with helmets and stuff like that. But we don't know who they are sometimes. Except for little lore bits. Well, with, um... Okay, that... That's funny. Anyway, um... But with Nezarek, he came in like... Let's see. With Nezarek Sin... Let me just go to collections and look at the logo for it. So with Nezarek Sin, that came in... Let's see, that is in... Oh, that's the Red War. So that came in the Red War. So that's been here since the beginning of Destiny 2. We didn't hear anything about any of the other disciples except for Kallus. But Kallus wasn't a disciple back then. So Nezarek's probably the oldest disciple we've known about. We just didn't know he was a disciple when that helmet was first 
released or we at least didn't know the context of it because you figure we knew like the darkness was a thing right but um he was just called hated nazarek here and it's a pre-golden age so that means it was before the traveler showed up um so yeah she is like the oldest disciple we know about so it makes sense that if there is a disciple in these artifacts that's dead it's nezarek because he's the only one of the disciples that's been missing this entire time out of all of them because you figure zivu has been active she was active a few seasons ago south Thune was active until she turned to the light and then callus just barely turned to the darkness so that means he's um, now a disciple. So he, and he's gonna be the active, like I guess, villain of Lightfall. So that means um, also this season we are pretty sure Aramis is gonna become a disciple or something. We don't know for sure, of course. But yeah, it's just weird that they're collecting these artifacts because, like. If this is a power that the witness already has because he made him a disciple why would he want to collect them other than rebirthing nazarek to help him in his quest so i feel like in the end we're gonna see nazarek get rebirthed what will happen with him i have no idea um maybe we'll see him switch sides and turn to the guardians but since he was called nazarek the hated i don't know if he will um but yeah we'll have to see as time goes on and we get more of these artifacts you can kind of see what's inside this artifact right here it's kind of weird but yeah hopefully maybe this will be um an interesting plot line may even send us hurtling into season 19 um maybe season 19 will be about rebirthing you know nazarek and or rasputin so who knows anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video if you guys did enjoy hit the like button comment down below what do you guys think are in the artifacts my guess like i said is on nazarek because he's the only disciple we haven't seen and he's also the oldest and uh it makes sense if he was in there because that would make like total sense of why he's not here now now that the witness is here you know but anyway guys don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and i'll see you guys later bye bye